welcome to Miss Kaylin's neighborhood. I am so excited to see you today. Today we are at my most favorite place in St. Charles, the St. Charles Public Library. I am so, so excited to show you around this wonderful place that I just happen to work at. We are gonna have the best time. This is going to be a series of videos. We have so much to show you that today we're going to see just a little piece of how the library works and we'll show you more next month. Look where we are, guess where we are, let's explore and so much more. Won't you come and join me? Yes, please come and join me. Let's go through the door. Have you been here before? Let's go friends. Right now, all of our staff and our materials are housed at the old Haynes Middle School building, while our building is under construction. Our library is currently under construction, as you can see by these pictures. We're going to talk more about our renovation in another video. As you can see, there are so many different departments here at our library. All of them help to make our library work. In this video, we're going to talk about these two departments, circulation and administration. Hi, Dana. Hi. How are you? I'm good, welcome. These are my library friends. Hi, glad you could join us today. So excited to see you. Can you show us what you're doing? I was just about to put one of our vestibule pickup bags out in our vestibule on the table because right now this is our service to the patrons. Our library is closed right now, but we still want to give you all of the wonderful things the library has. So we put the bags out in the lobby here and you can come and pick them up. They're already checked out to you. Wow. So that's an important part of what circulation does. Absolutely. So your department is called circulation, Our right? Our department is about circulation and all of the books that come and go from the library pass through our department. All of them. Books, movies, everything. All yes. of them? All of them. Everything <laughs> that comes and goes from the library yep. goes through the circulation department. Yep. That's a huge job. It is. We're busy a lot. Yes. <laughs> and this is our welcome desk here. When you come into the library, we can answer any questions that you have. We can direct you to whatever department you need to go to when we're open. We also can get you a library card, which is the most important thing of all, because that's how you check out books, movies, anything that you want to take home and enjoy at home. We give you a special number just for you, so we know whatever you take home is attached to that barcode on your library card. So that's your job, to your department's job, to give a library card and get them, get someone registered yep. and give them their card. Yeah, right? if you live in St. Charles, you can get a library card. If you're a student in St. Charles, you can get a library card. So if and you're a D303 student, you, yep. can get, you can get a library card. Mm -hmm. And you can use your library card at any library in Illinois. And there are a hundred libraries that you're already in their computer. That's what? We're, yeah, really? We're, we're part of a big group of libraries called Salon, and there's a hundred libraries. So they already know who you are. You're already in their computer. No way. Yes way. So, that is so awesome. Isn't it? Think of all the books and movies and things you have access to. Absolutely. Wow. Which brings us to our next location here where we have our holes. You can go on the computer and you can look up all of the things that you want to take home and you can place a hold on them and we'll get them for you. And if we don't have them, we'll get them from one of those other libraries for you. So those other libraries can send items to yeah. our library for patrons to pick up. Absolutely. We have a speedy delivery service called Rail. Ah! And they deliver five days a week and we get these big blue bins Oh, look at these, wow, look at these items big. every day. And the most, 
spins we ever had in one day was 39. That was a lot. 39, that's <laughs> such a cool fact. That's the most you've ever had. It's that's 39 the most spins. spins. And there's about 45 items in every bin. So we were really busy. <laughs> wow. And was that on like a special day or just a random day that um, happened? It is busier when we have holidays, for sure. Oh, okay. Because if we're closed, then the next day we get extra bins. We always have items coming and going. We send items out, too. If another library doesn't have something, we send it to them. So it's really nice. We Our collection is about 380,000 items. But really, if you think about all the libraries we're connected with, it's so much bigger. So much more. 380,000 items. Just in our just library. In our library. Yeah. <laughs> so in all those 100 libraries you were talking about that your card would work at, that's millions of items. Yep. And you can use them all. It's such a wonderful thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's say I there was a Goosebumps book that I really wanted to read that our library did not have. Right. I could place a hold you would get it in one of these blue bins from another library, and then we could come and pick it up. Yep, you get seven days, we hold it here for you. You can call and make an appointment right now, and we'll bag it up for you. So those You're bags ready? that we saw, it would go in one of those bags and out there yep. in the vestibule. Yep. Wow! Yep, and you can check out a hundred items on your library card at a time. <laughs> okay, so here's my big question. How much does it cost? To get a library card? Yeah. It's free. You pay taxes to the library and that takes care of your library card for you. So your mom and dad pay for it in a different way. <laughs> in a different way. Okay. So um, we've been talking about change. With all the different departments we've been talking a lot about change. Has your job changed a lot since COVID and since we've moved into this new temporary space? Absolutely. We also clean everything all the time. Oh, we were learning yeah. about like cleaning keyboards and things yeah. like that. We clean and we also quarantine all the books. So books are kept in a room when they're returned. You know, we have book drops all over town and we go gather all those items up and bring them in and we put them in a special room and let them sit there for three days. So, the, the so kids, just like the mail. Yep. Virginia like was showing us the mail and how it had to quarantine for three days. Yep. And it's so it's the same. So we know that it's safe to check them in. So yeah, so a lot of things are different because of quarantine. We also can't have as many people working here at once. So we don't have as many hands to do all that work. <laughs> oh, we learned about how some people work in different places now because we all have to social distance. Yep, and we're okay. all wearing masks, of course. <laughs> cool masks. Wow, so these yeah. are the blue bins so these we're are talking the bins. about. Yep, we had, we had our, our delivery was picked up today, so right now we just have two waiting to go out, and we put a special label on each one. It has a special code, so they know where to deliver it. And then these are the ones that came in today. Let's come on in here. This is where we check in all of our items. We check everything in twice because we want to make sure that we don't miss anything. We don't want someone to um, be sad because they know they returned something and it's still in their accounts. We make sure everything is checked in two times. Two so times. We don't make a mistake. I don't know if I knew that, library friends. So all of these items are getting ready to be checked in. So when right. I check out something and I return it, it's checked in twice. Twice. Yep. And we do look through the book to make sure nobody forgot a special bookmark or something important to them. We also look to make sure that the book is in good condition and there's no damage to it. Um, these are items that have been processed and they're going to go out onto those hold shelves. These are items that yep. are, so they have, have that same label that we saw on those shelves. Yep, there. and when we just go file them out there so then the people who are bagging can just grab them off the shelf and put them in the bag. These are items that have been pulled from the shelf for those holds. So we have this constant flow of pulling the books off the shelves, processing them, getting them ready for you, whatever books that you've chosen, books, DVDs, and items. Um, we also have our, our billing specialist works back here, and we have our registration specialist who is really busy these days because all of our library card applications are online right now because we're closed. Right. People can't come in and get their library card in person. So she gets all of those applications, she gets them ready, and mails your card to you in the mail. Uh, okay, yeah. And our billing specialist, she's the one that feels sad when she has to send you a bill. It's really important to take care of the items that you bring home with you. 
make sure there's no spillage, damage, or you know something is torn. Sometimes a puppy chews up a book. <laughs> yes. So that's so important that we take care yes. of our library book. Yes. yes. It is. Because we just feel sad when we have to send you a bill for something. Yes. <laughs> we do check them in twice, put them in order, and then our clerks go and put them back on the shelf. And with 380 some thousand books, that's a big job keeping everything in order. Yes. You know, not only do they shelve them, but they're always checking those shelves to make sure everything is in order. And it's so important for people like me who go out and pull those books for the holds to make sure that book is right where it needs to be. Yes, so every book, every, every item <laughs> has a just right spot, library friends. That is so, so, so important. Yeah. So if you pull a book, if a kiddo is looking at a book and just pulls it off the shelf and they don't want it anymore and they put it back in a spot where it's not supposed to be, yeah, it's really job, hard for yeah. you to find it, huh? That makes our job a little bit harder. We, that's why we're always making sure and looking through, we call it shelf reading, and making sure everything's in order. But it is nice, if you take something off the shelf, just put it on to the side and we'll put it back where it needs to be so that we don't mix everything up. So we put it in the just yeah, right it's spot. It has a special Absolutely. number on it and that's how we know where it goes. So. Yeah, so we're really busy in circulation. We're always, you know, scanning books. I can tell you what that looks like. Yeah, the wrappers and how they pop out. Oh, we'd like to see that. Okay, okay. Every book has a barcode. It has its own special number, so we know when you're checking out and we scan that barcode, it attaches to your account, so we know you have those books. And it's the same thing when we're doing a hold. We put the number in and out pops the hold wrapper and that's your special code so you know how to pick up your holds when the library's open and we know when we're closed which ones to put in the bag for you. So we saw those on here and we also saw them on the shelf out yep. there. Yep, so we get them all ready for you. It's the first two letters of your last name and the last five numbers of your library card. That's your special code. And then we get those items ready for you to come pick up. And when you scan it with that barcode, it pops out that little piece of paper. That's for the hold, yep. And then we wrap the book with it. And then we put it out on the shelf for you. And wow. Same, yep, same thing. When you, we check it out to you, that number attaches to your account so we can see everything you have checked out. And you can too. When you go online, you can look at your account and see everything you have checked out. And when you return it, we check it back in and it takes that number off of your account. So we're using the computers all the time. We all really time. depend on computers. Yeah. The department. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much You're for showing welcome. us around. You're welcome. This was wonderful. And we look forward to when you can come back into the library and we can say hi to you at the welcome desk. We can't wait to see our library friends, huh? Yeah. So we miss fine. you very much. Yes. <laughs> all right, Dana. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks for coming by. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> Library friends, check out this area of the library, administration. We're going to go inside and learn all about what they do here at the library. Come on, let's go. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Virginia. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Let's go, friends. <clears throat> we are so excited to get to talk with you today. Great, we're glad to have you here in the administration department. Can you tell us about what you do here at the library? Yes, and just to start really quick, in this area, we process the mail that comes in. During COVID, we do quarantine our mail for three days. Okay. And this is also our copier and our postage machine, so just a little working area. So this is a copier, and this is a postage machine? Yes. So all mail that leaves the library comes from the administration department, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Now, the books and other materials in our collection, they come in the back door right now, and technical services department, they handle all the, that mail that is brought in. So, boxes of books, the tech department handles that? Yes. Okay. All other mail is here? Yes, absolutely. And you said you quarantine them right now? We're talking yes. a lot today about how the library is different right now because of COVID. Absolutely. So we, so you quarantine this, which means you don't touch it for, you said three days? Three full days, yes. Three full days, wow, how awesome, okay. What else can you show us? 
Okay, I can walk you down the hall and um, introduce you to the HR managers here today. Oh, that's exciting. Our administration staff consists of our director, okay. our human resources manager, our business office manager, one business office assistant, and two administrative assistants. So this is a big department. There are this many people that help behind the scenes to make the library work. Right. And do really important jobs. Library friends, these aren't probably people that you see when you come visit the library. Like we said, they're behind the scenes, but they have such an important job here. We do help support all the departments in the library. All of the departments. So all the other departments that we've seen, you support them. Yes, and each day we have staff from each department that come through or call us regarding policies or procedures and anyone in the administrative administration office can assist them. So our first, the first office we're going to see is for Cheryl. She is our human resources manager. Okay. And I believe she is in today. Maybe we can wave at her. What do you think? Yes. What do you think, library friends? Do you think we could wave to her? Hello, Cheryl. There she is in her office. So what does Cheryl do? Cheryl interviews candidates at the library. So all jobs all here jobs. at the library, they're interviewed by Cheryl. By Cheryl and um, with the director and then the manager of each department that that candidate would work for. Wow, that sounds like a really important job. It is very important. Yeah. And Cheryl reviews employment and safety laws to oh. keep our staff up to date and safe. And safe. Wow, like we were talking about with COVID, I bet she's had a lot of extra work here for COVID. Yes. Making sure that all those rules, oh, she's saying yes. <laughs> Library friend, she's saying yes in her office, yes. Okay. Cheryl and Edith, our director, they keep us up to date on everything relating to COVID. Because things change and you have to adapt to that change. You have to make sure that you go along with everything that's changing, wow. that's. That's pretty cool, an important job there. And we have approximately 95 staff at the library right now. 95? Yes. Wow, 95, that's almost 100. Okay. So we can go into Mary's office. Mary is not here. Let's go into Mary's office. Library friends, I don't think that you've seen all of this. This is so cool. Let's go. Okay, so this is Mary's office. And Mary is our business office manager, and she works very closely with Deb, who is our business office assistant. Okay. And they order all supplies and program materials for the library. They work with all the managers with their budgets to make sure their spending is all in line to keep everything in budget. So they deal a lot with ordering and with money for the library. Absolutely. They are the number experts at the library. The number experts. Along with Edith, our director. <laughs> the number experts, I yes. love that. What an important job. It is very, and they are very busy. Very busy, so lots of numbers, lots of numbers for these friends. Wow, I, I don't know if that would be a job that I could do very well, I don't know. But I bet a lot of our library friends are very good at math, so that's neat to know that we have Number specialist here at the library. What else can you show us? Okay, this is our director's office. This okay. Is Edith's office. Edith, okay. She is out of the office at this moment. That's another important um, task that Edith and Cheryl work on are the return to work phases with COVID. Wow. As the state phases change, we have to adapt to those guidelines. So you do a lot of adapting to things that are changing here at the library. Yes. Yeah. So that's change. Change is very big right now, library friends, and they don't, it, things don't always stay the same. Another big change I see right here, we are in our temporary space. Yes. We are in a temporary space here right now. Not only do we have COVID changes that we have to make, but we are in a different building than we normally are. That's a lot of change. Yes, and Edith oversees the renovation and expansion of the library. Wow. Which we will be back in that location 
early summer. So exciting! Isn't yes. that awesome? And you can also check out the updates on our website, yes. scplv.org, and you can go to the renovation page, and there is a construction camera and photos so that I the public can watch and see the progress. I just drove past there today, library friends. It looks so different. The library that um, where we used to be, it's gonna look different, but so awesome when we get in more more change like we were talking about. Wow, it seems like Edith has a, has a big job. Edith has a very big job. She is um, the library board of trustees. We have seven trustees on our board. Okay. And she is their one employee. And Edith works with the board to um, create policies and she manages the financials, oversees the financials of the library. So I bet she works a lot with Mary and Deb like we saw before. She does, and she works okay. with the whole management staff. Okay. She supervises um, the programming and the purchasing for the collection. Okay. And marketing and any communication and press releases. So she oversees a lot of stuff. So she, she does. kind of is, has a bird's eye view looking down at what's going on for the library as a whole. Yes. Is that right? Oh. So that's a huge job in itself. Yes. So add on that the expansion of the library and dealing with COVID. So wow. It is a lot that she handles. We're gonna have to say a big thank you when we see, um, see Edith. That is really neat. And now we're gonna go into a small office. Okay. Which before COVID, this would house three staff. Before COVID, three people would work in here. Okay. But now, only one person can work in here at a time. Okay. Because of our distancing. And so Deb sits here. This is Deb's desk. Okay. And she is the business office assistant. Okay. And she works with Mary. Okay. She's one of the number experts. Number experts. Okay. And we Great. Spoke about some of her tasks before. Yep. And then by you, this is Kimmy's desk. She's one of the administrative assistants. And Kimmy works on special projects, and she assists patrons with meeting room reservations, which we will have in our new okay. library, have that open again. Yes. And she coordinates volunteers. Oh, volunteers. Oh. And she also works with Edith um, to organize the art collection at the library. Oh, wow. That's a big job, especially with the moving that we're doing. And one of the great programs that Kimmy has introduced to patrons and staff and volunteers is um, Citizen Science. I don't know if I've heard of Citizen Science. Can you tell our library friends what that is? Here's a, here's a little a flyer right here on the door. And if you go to SciStarter.org, it's a program that you can go in and help assist with collecting data for scientists. It's really very interesting and exciting. And from what I understand, it's really easy to, they have thousands of projects that you can work on and help contribute to science data. And what do you do at the library? And this is my desk and I'm Virginia and I am uh, the second administrative assistant. I work closely with Edith, the director. I assist with, um, all things for the board for preparations of meetings, taking minutes of the meetings, okay, filing documents with um, legal documents with DuCane and DuPage County clerk, okay, any donations that are given to the library or the foundation, I process those, mm. and um, Kimmy and I work together on document retention for okay. the library to organize the library so that we are in compliance with the state as far as record keeping. And Edith and Mary and I are FOIA officers. Okay. Because people do Freedom of Information do. Act, right? Yes. yes. So, when so if people want to know information about the library. Mm -hmm. They would submit a request and we would handle that for them. Wow. And then Kimmy and I are two, well Edith is as well, um, we are three of the nine notaries that the library has, and we offer that notary service 
September open. <laughs> yeah, open. So that's right. really a huge help. And does that, um, I'm sure some of our grown-ups that are watching, um, does that cost them anything? No, it's absolutely free. Wow, absolutely. a free notary. Wow, yes. when the library's open, that's great to know. Yeah. Wow, it sounds like you have a big job too. We're busy. Busy, yeah. <laughs> yes. In like the best way, it's awesome, wow. Well, this was really great to see. Is there anything else you'd like to show us? Well, um, Edith did want me to let everyone know that one final but most important thing is that if there is ever anything someone needs at the library, that's our top priority to help our patrons to bring them the best library in the community. That's so amazing. And myself, that's part of the reason that I love to work here and be here because that is just so important and um, having our mission that we want to just serve patrons. I love that. Thank you for sharing that with us. Sure. That's great. Well, we really appreciate you showing us around today. It was my pleasure. Thank you. And um, who would have known, library friends, that all of this stuff, this is just one department in our library, but see all of the wonderful things that they do? This is great. We hope to see you again soon. Okay. Thanks again, Virginia. You're welcome. Bye. Enjoy your day. Thank you. How cool was that, library friends? That was amazing. Are you ready to move on? Bye friends, we'll see you next time.